Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing another Jailhouse Burrito taste test. Now, what I'm going to be putting into this is some uh, baby back rib chips. I've had these quite a bit, especially lately, uh, in my taste test videos. Ramen, of course. Slim Jim. And then I always try to have something a little different to kind of make the video stand out. And in this one, it is White Cheddar Cheez-Its. I've never had these. Uh, they look pretty good. I, I would assume that everything's going to mix together really well. Um, I think the white cheddar is going to mix together with the uh, barbecue flavor from these chips really well. You know what? These have kind of a sweeter flavor. Uh, white cheddar, a bit of a sweet barbecue flavor. I think that's going to work together pretty well. I don't see why it wouldn't. Now I say this in every one of my taste test videos. I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to make this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and get it made up. Give it a shot and tell you what I think of it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. Well, the burrito's been sitting in its for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get it out of there. Nice and solid. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a smell before I do anything. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know what? It smells pretty typical. It, it smells like your just average jailhouse burrito. Um, if you make this combination, I wouldn't expect to smell anything special. Not to say it's not a good smell, but... I think you get what I'm getting at. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and open the bag up and get a thumbnail here. All right, I got the thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, but first, guys, if this is uh, the first time that you've checked out one of these taste test videos, uh, go check out my channel. I have, like, anywhere from 15 to 20 of them right now, um, and I make them all the time. Um, I'm going to be having some other stuff come out as far as Jailhouse Burritos goes, like another how-to, you know, instructional video, how to make one. Um, I haven't made one of those in quite some time, and I think it'd be good to put another one up. But, uh, yeah, take a look at that. It looks alright. I mean, maybe I could have used a little bit more water, but I thought I went pretty heavy on it. But you know what? When you play around with those Cheez-Its, they kind of, uh, just absorb that water like crazy. Um, it's the same with, uh, cheese balls, you know, cheese puffs, things like that. Stuff like that, I mean... You really got to put a little bit more water in there than normal, I think. But here it is. White cheddar. Cheese it. Jailhouse burrito. All right, let's give this a shot here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's actually really good. Not bad at all. Yeah. You know, it's very rare uh, when I make one of these that I add too little water. And I think that's what I did here. But I put, like, damn near a cup in. I thought that would have been enough, but... You know what, for this combination, I think, I think that's what it is. Um, the Cheez-Its, they just really, really absorb that water like crazy. Little dry, but very good. Give you a little shot of that there. The flavors are on point, though. You know, uh, the white cheddar, it's, it's got a little bite to it. It's, it's really, really mild and subtle, but it's there. And it mixes together with the sweetness of the other chips, the baby back rib chips, very well. I wouldn't say that this is like an amazing combination, but it works together okay. I'm going to go ahead and get another bite there. All right. Mmm. That bite was better, and I have no idea why. Maybe um, that bite that I just took had a better uh, like mixture of the two chips right there, just in that one particular spot. But, yeah, that is a nice cross-section right there, guys. Look at that. Got that Slim Jim poking out right there. You know, it's pretty good. It's not the best combination that I've ever had. But, you know, if I had to give it a 1 out of 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would give it, huh, I'd give it like a 7.5. Yeah, it's a pretty good combination. You know, when it comes to the white cheddar Cheez-Its, I think that that would be something that you just have to kind of play around with and find something really good to mix it with to make it a 10. But I think it has potential. And, uh, yeah, with the baby back rib chips, it works together pretty well. Go ahead and get another bite here. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Would I recommend this combination? Sure. Uh, why not? I would recommend playing around with the recipe a little bit just to get it where you want it, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. Why not? 
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and enjoy the rest of that off camera. Uh, please take a second, like the video, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and you guys have a good day.